Welcome to my Bar Lattie's Body Bleed segment of how to do the perfect plank. Now we all know with most exercises it's crucial to get your form right. So if you're doing an exercise wrong you could even injure yourself or you might just not be getting the most benefit out of your exercises. So with planks that's no exception. So let's go through a few basics to help you have the perfect form when doing your planking. Okay, let's get down onto our mat. I want you to start off with your arms directly underneath your shoulders, so your wrists and your shoulders are lining up. Place your arms approximately shoulder width apart. Now scoot your legs back so that you're resting on the meaty part of your knee. So not up like this, but scooting your hips forward. Actually bring your feet up into the air if you like, just so that you can really come forward in a comfortable position and you're not injuring your knees. Now from here, suck your tummy in really tight Make sure that your hips are not fully tucked under, but they're in a neutral position. Keep your spine nice and flat, look in front of you. Bring your toes down, and if you're going into a full plank, you just lift your knees up. Now it's very important here not to let your hips dip or to have them up in the air like this. Try to make sure that you've got a neutral position so that you are really nice and long and straight through the middle making sure that you're sucking your tummy in the entire time and squeezing your quads. So you're really engaging your entire body, your arms, your tummy, your core, your back, and also your glutes and your quads, holding you in this perfect, straight, streamlined position. Now there are other variations of planks. You might have seen also a bent arm plank. So in that case, you're coming down onto your elbows keeping your palms flat on the floor, making sure this time that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Looking straight ahead of you so your neck is in nice alignment. Once again, if you're staying down on your knees on the meaty part of your knees, so if you want to bring your legs up, you can. Holding your tummy in tight and making sure that you're not slouching or arching your back, curving your back up, but keeping it in a nice neutral position. Holding everything steady, and if you want to go into a full plank from here, curling your toes under from that position and lifting your knees up. So you will feel the weight distribution between your arms as well as your feet and you're trying to keep yourself centralized, sucking everything in. Now from there, if you also want to go into a side plank, you can do exactly the same thing. You're setting up as if you're doing a front plank now, once again, you can do this on your knees or your toes. So once again, shoulders directly above your wrists, pulling your tummy in, meaty part of your knees, tuck your toes under and come up into a plank. And then if you want to, you just twist your feet into that side plank. So you can either have one foot in front of the other here and make sure that you're directly in line, shoulders still above that wrist, pulling up through the side of your body and having the foot in front just helps you to balance. If you are feeling up for the challenge, you can then stack your feet on top of each other and you can even lift your arm or lift your leg or both. So that is a full extension of a side plank. Now if you wanted to do this on your knees, you just come back down into your normal plank position and you come over and stack your knees on top of each other, your hips on top of each other, and you lifting up out of that neck. Don't slouch down like this, lifting up high. And you can also do this combination in a bent arm plank. So coming down, making sure you're nice and steady, directly aligned, and then moving to the side. Now in this case, your hand will move into a right angle below you. So the main point of a side plank is to make sure you're lifting up through that bottom side of your body. And you can extend the leg if you wanted to, extend an arm, raise that leg. So there are many different options for you. So make sure that you keep those form pointers in mind every time you do a plank. That goes for push-ups as well because you'll find that you start off in a plank position to do a push-up. So make sure that your wrists are lined up underneath your shoulders or if you're in a low plank position, your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Make sure that you are evenly distributing your weight between the front and the back of your body, holding everything in in the middle to keep it nice and strong, 
tensing the front of your legs as well and then you'll be on your way to doing the perfect plank and you'll get such better results by doing it correctly and you won't injure yourself as well. So I hope it was helpful for you and that your planking from now on is fabulous.